I'll be showing you the differences between systematic and random error. Systematic error is consistent, repeatable error. On the other hand, random errors, like the name suggests, are completely random. Systematic errors are associated usually with faulty equipment or a flawed experimental design. These errors are usually caused by measuring instruments that are incorrectly calibrated or perhaps used incorrectly. However, they can creep into your experiment from many sources, including worn out instruments. For example, you might have a plastic tape measure that becomes slightly stretched over the years. Another reason might be an incorrectly calibrated or teared instrument. For example, you might have a scale that reads five when nothing is on it. Another example, uh, you might consistently take an incorrect measurement. For example, you might think the three quarter mark on a ruler is the two thirds mark. Systematic errors are always in the same direction. For example, you might be 50 grams, 1% or negative 20 millimeters off every time. With random errors, it's often difficult to pinpoint the source. There's no pattern. These errors are largely unavoidable and they cannot be replicated. Let's take a look at a couple of types of systematic error. Offset error is where your instrument isn't set to zero. For example, you might forget to tear your scale before you place your items on it. If that tear isn't set properly, all of your readings will have offset error, probably caused by the weight of the container. Scale factor errors are errors that are proportional to the true measurement. For example, a measuring tape stretched to 101% of its original size will consistently give results that are 101% of the true value. Compare those two error patterns with random errors, which have no pattern at all.